Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about tool offsets. Tool offsets are very handy, especially when you're doing a safe position above your part and it has to be a set distance or around a set distance. Before we've been working with just doing multiple points where we would come down, we would teach a point at the top of our part and then we would go back and we would teach above the part. So that takes a lot of time and you want to minimize the amount of downtime and minimize the amount of programming time to get things to be exact every single time. And there's an easier way to do that with offsets. So, so far we've talked about all different types of offsets. The tool offset is just another version of offset. So I created a new program. I call the tool offset example, and I'm going to go inside of it and we're going to set up our frames right away. All right, so I just paused the video and I set up the frames. You see me set this up multiple times, which is why I paused this video. So if you need to see how this is actually done, just go back into the other videos and see how a remark is created and how we set up user frames and tool frames. So inside we have frames, we are going to have a part safe position, pickup position, and then safe pickup position. So inside here, in previous videos, we created a point here, a separate point here, and then we used the first point from our position. So that's how we created it in past videos. Now that we have learned offsets, now we're going to just create one point and use a tool offset to do this. So let's go down to our first position and we have this saved as a position register. So let's go under data and type position registers. And here is the yellow brick. So let's go to this and we're going to go move to. So we'll go shift move to and then our robot will move to that position. So we're at our pickup position and I'm going to go shift and I'm going to go back into our program. So we go edit and we're inside here. And this is going to be our pickup robot place. So I'm going to go right here and we're going to go add move point and we're going to go down from our safe position as a linear. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this number to a little bit faster speed for our program. Now that we have this, we're going to go there as a fine movement. We have point one. So now all we have to do is for our safe positions, we're going to save this as point one as well. So we're going to go add move point linear and we're going to go 2000 and also our safe position here. We're going to go add move point linear 2000. Now, once again, we have points one, two and three and better coding for later on when we start doing offsets and major upgrades to our programming and more advanced things to make these all one point. So I'm going to go back in here, I'm going to switch this to point one, and I'm going to switch this to point one so we're not using up three different points for this program. So we're going to go point one, point one, point one. Notice how we have the at symbol at that point, representing that we are at all three of those positions. This is the one that we're going to leave as is, the safe position up here and the pickup safe position here we're going to modify. So just like in offsets, we have to set up a position register. So we're going to go data and I'm going to use position register number six. So I'm going to go shift record, which initiates all the numbers. And I'm going to call this tool offset. Then I'm going to go in there. So I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to go to position. And right now we have our positions data. So we're going to go zero, 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 zero. Once we have these all zero, we have to look at our actual tool to figure out which X, Y, and Z are we going to change in order to bring tool up. So I'm going to go to coordinate and we're going to switch it to tool. Now notice how our Z plus is downwards. And then for our tool, we want it to bring it up. So we're going to go to a Z position, but instead of going in a positive direction of 100, we're going to go negative 100. So we're going to go arrow down to our Z and we're going to type in negative 100. So now that we have that, we're going to hit done and now we have our tool offset. So now whatever we set as our tool offset, we will see our tool move up 100 millimeters because it's going in the negative direction, which is up in this case. So you have to pay attention to how you set up your tool frame and which way is positive and which way is negative, which way is X, Y, and Z, and also the rotations. Let's go back into our program. 
And now at the end of our safe position, so we're going to go to our end, we're going to arrow over all the way to our additional modifications, and we're going to go to tool offset PR. So we're going to arrow over tool offset position register. And we're going to use position register number six, which is our tool offset. So that will bring us up 100 millimeter. Then we go down here, we're going to arrow over to the end, and then we're going to go to our tool offset PR, and we're going to go six. So now we have the same positions all the way down, but you'll see that our tool will go up and then down and then up again. So let's add one little weight here. New instruction, wait, and let's just wait a few seconds so we can actually see it happen. And then we will go to that point. And let's add a home as well. And then we're going to go home after our safe position. Now we have our home. So let's run this and see what happens. So we'll go home and then down and then up to a safe position. So let's put a weight at the safe position so you can see it at the safe position as well. So it's waiting two seconds at each one so we can see what happened. So it's going to come down to our safe position, go down, and then back up again. With creating a single point and using tool offsets, we we're able to bring it up to our 100 millimeters and then back down to a position. So you can see how quickly we can create each one of these points. And now each one of these points can be saved with offsets. So we come down come back up and we can modify our offsets up here so we can go new instruction and then let's add our register registers equal to and we're going to go position register IJ and we're going to use position register 6 and we're going to use the Z coordinate, which is 3. And we're going to now change it to whatever we want. So instead of 100, let's go 10. And let's run this and see what happened. Forgot to do negative 10. So notice how it went underneath. So that's why we go with that negative number. And then let's run this. Ten above goes down 10, then 10 back up. So we can easily modify all our tool offsets from one position by making a variable out of it inside the actual code. So you can change that for any situation that you have. So that is tool offsets.